Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see Amazon SQS connector with Mule USB. So SQS is nothing a simple queuing service. So Amazon provide a you know fast, reliable, cost effective, uh, durable queuing service that is known as SQS. So simple queuing service. Okay. So we so Mule provide a connector which can perform various operation. So we will going to see in this demonstration. So let me start. So I, I will go to AnyPoint Studio. I will say File New Mule Project. I will say SQS app. Okay. For runtime, I will keep 3.8. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can select depending on your requirement. Okay. So rest of the setting, I will keep as default. I will say finish. So once I will say finish, it will create an empty application for you. Fine. So now I will drag and drop a HTTP listener into the canvas. Let me start configuring HTTP listener. I will go to HTTP. I will go under connector config. I click on this add button. I will keep all settings as a default. I will say OK. For path, I will say SQS. For allow method, I will say get. Fine. Now next thing, I will drag and drop Amazon and SQS connector. You can find a default in your Mule palette. So let me do the connector configuration. So what are things we require? We require access key, we require secret key, we require Q name, Q year, and region endpoint. These are the things we require. So let me do one thing first. Let me create. A uh, access key and all those things. So let me go to my security credential under the AWS Amazon Web Service. Let's close this. Go to access key. So click on this create new access key. Okay. So you click either you can download here and either you can copy from here. So it will create a new access key for you. So this is access key ID. Just paste it in access key. Now check for secret key. Let's wait. This is a secret key. Fine. Let's paste it here. Now test connection. It will field. It required Q name and Q URL also. Okay. So let me create. A, okay, we will provide the Q URL and Q name. So let's close this. Go to a dashboard. So under dashboard you can see a messaging. Under messaging you can see simple Q service. Just click on this, and we will go to create one Q. Let's create new Q. So there are already Q available. Okay. So we will create some new Q. I will say. Test mule demo. This is my Q name. I will say create Q. I will keep all setting as a default. I will not going to change anything. Just reason I will keep in Asia Pacific create Q. Once I click on create Q, so it has created a test mule demo. So you can what are the things we require? We require Q name. Okay. So this is my Q name. Let me copy this. Let me paste it in Q name. Now what is URL? We require the URL also. Copy this, paste it here. We require endpoint region. So what is our south? Our endpoint region is southeast AP southeast one. Fine. So let me select AP southeast one. Fine. Now test connection. This time it should be a successful. Let's check. Okay, the test connection successful. We are set, all set to go. Okay. Now first operation we will perform. There are a lot of operation. We have add permission, change message, visit, create queue, delete message, lot of thing. So first we will say list queue. Let me save it. Let me run the project. Okay. Yes. Let me run the project. Let's check. Okay. Let's check the console if application is deploying properly or not. Okay, application has been deployed. Let me send the message. It should be get only sent. Once you send, you will get a message. You got a response, but the response is not current correct format. It is in form of object. So what we can do? Either we can convert that into XML, JSON, string, anything. So what we will do? We will convert into an object to JSON. I will drag and drop object to JSON. I will save it. Once I will save save it, it will deploy the application again for you. Okay, the application has been deployed. Now send. You will get a queue URL. Okay, these are the queue URL available. Okay, all the URLs. So we have a three queue, one, two, three. It provide all the URLs available in your uh, available with your account. Okay. Right. Now, the second operation we will going to perform. Let me do one thing. Uh, go there. I want to remove some of the queue. I don't want to. I want to keep only one. I will remove rest of the queue. I don't require. Let's wait. 
I say yes, did it two queues? Okay, now there is only one queue available. A mule test mule demo. Okay. Now let me do one thing. What I will do instead of list queue, what I will do, I will say send message. I want to send message to queue. So for that, say define attribute. I will say payload dot to string. It is not necessary, but I always prefer to do that. Now save the application. So what we will doing going to do? We are sending a message to this queue. Okay, let me check the size of current mess, uh, current queue. It's a zero. There is a no message available. Right? So let me copy some message from somewhere. Let me check. Okay, I will copy this, not this one. Let me copy uh, copy some proper message. Let me check if I think can found some here. Okay. Let me copy this. I will here I will change the method to post go to body let me paste it here fine what I can do now I, have, I will change my method to post let me save the application once I will save it it will deploy the application fine application has been deployed now I will say send once I will say send it will add the message to queue and it will return the message uh, some IDs message attribute ID MD5 okay now let me verify if I receive any message there let me refresh this page see I can see one message available let me send some more I will say check three four five like that so let me refresh it now there should be a five message in your queue there are five messages okay this is how you can add the message into your queue now if you want to perform various of there are various operations available so like uh, you have a create queue delete message okay so you have to provide the queue url and all those things if you want to delete the message purge queue so i want to purge my queue okay you can provide the url here either it will take this url let me copy this url I can provide. Uh, it's not. It's optional. Okay. If you uh, if you provide the if you provide some URL under the connector configuration, and if you provide some Q, different queue URL, it it will override the connector configuration one. Let me check. Okay. One. Let me do one thing. Instead of this, I will use get. Fine. Here I will remove this. I will use set payload. I will say queue first. Okay, let me see. It will remove all the messages from the queue. Okay, what is the method we have used? We have used get. This time we will not use post. We will say get sent. Okay, queue first. Let me verify. See, there is a no message available in your queue more thing we can do if you want to create any queue so you can do create queue okay so you can select the region in which region you want i want in ap southeast okay here i will give a queue name i will say test one two three mule save it i will say queue created this is how we can create a queue also let me save the application it will deploy the application again for you. Let me send the message. CQ created. We can see, right? So let me refresh. There should be two queue here. Okay. Do one thing. Let me go to simple queue service again. You can see a two second queue has been created. Right? Okay. So this is uh, this is how you can use a SQS Amazon SQS connector with Mule USB. There are much more operation you can expose yourself. I have give the brief idea about how can you use the Amazon SQS connector. 
So if you like my video, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching it. Hope you have enjoyed.